Men with prostate cancer are commonly treated with hormone therapy, also known as androgen deprivation therapy or ADT, which has known side effects. The side effects of ADT include increased body fat and reduced skeletal muscle mass, cardiopulmonary fitness and functional capacity. Men may also experience increased levels of fatigue and increased susceptibility to metabolic syndrome. These side effects increase the risk of future cardiovascular events and can negatively impact quality of life. Our study was designed to investigate whether a short-term exercise intervention for men with newly diagnosed prostate cancer, who are just beginning their hormone therapy, can help to reduce the harmful side effects of this treatment. So the two main aims were firstly to assess whether a three-month program of aerobic exercise and resistance or strength training attenuates the adverse effects of ADT in patients with newly diagnosed prostate cancer. Secondly, to examine whether any exercise-induced improvements in treatment-related side effects are sustained after the withdrawal of supervised exercise, up to a final follow-up of six months. 50 men with newly diagnosed prostate cancer and due to receive ADT treatment were recruited to the study, with half of them being randomised to the exercise group in addition to standard care, and the other half being randomised to a control group receiving standard care only. The exercise group took part in two supervised exercise sessions a week for three months at an exercise facility close to the treating hospital, and outcomes were assessed at baseline, that is prior to randomization, three months and six months. Our results showed that the three-month exercise program attenuated the adverse changes in cardiopulmonary fitness and perceptions of fatigue that were experienced by the men in the control group. After the supervised exercise was withdrawn, these differences in cardiopulmonary fitness and fatigue were not sustained, but the exercise group showed improved quality of life and a reduced cardiovascular risk profile compared to the controls. We believe that these findings have important implications for clinicians concerned with the management of ADT-related side effects in men with prostate cancer.